Hey guys, welcome back to KC Farms. We have had a lot going on in the last couple of days, so I'm just gonna give you an update today. We've had two litters since our last video. We did not catch those on film, but we're gonna show you those two litters and we've got a lot of work done. So we're gonna show you what we've done. So stay tuned. So guys, my family has been in town, my uncle, my brothers, and my mom, and we have been doing a lot of stuff, and it has been so nice to have so much help. The first thing we worked on, we cleared out this fence line. You couldn't even see the trunks of these trees hardly. There's so many briars and shrubs. So we have ripped all of those trees out. We've cut the branches that were sagging really low so we can get up under here, we can mow, we can put animals back under here and it has just been awesome. So we've been doing a lot of clearing and a lot of burning and we're getting a lot more usable land. So it has just been awesome. It's always cool having family in town. So thank you to all of them for helping out while they have been here. And we've just been enjoying them being here as well. So I wanna take you back and show you our boar pen and uh, we are back here at the back of the property. We always get the question about, do you have predators? And yes, we've had coyotes. We've never had anything um, kill animals. Well, we've had a possum kill our ducks, but as far as the pigs go, we've never had any big, big uh, losses like that as far as coyotes or anything like that. But we do have coyotes around, but this year we started putting our pigs towards the back of our property. Our property probably goes about 30 yards back in the woods, not very far. Um, and we never used to run animals back here, but we have put the boys back here this year. And you'll see we had five in here. We moved one of them out. We're gonna show you who that was. Hey, Shiloh. Shiloh's about ready to get moved out too. We got two more pens um, that we're thinking about putting together for breeding. But I just wanted to show you this, guys. You could not even see back through here with all the briars and shrubs and we couldn't really get the tractor in here to kind of bush hog it down because the branches were all low. There was a lot of dead trees laying down. So we have come in here and taken out the trees and this is all usable now. And the best part is there's tons of shade and I can have the fence out here a little bit to get my charger, solar chargers working. So the chargers are working. The pigs can get back there in the shade during the heat of the day and enjoy it back here. So that's the first big thing. I feel like we've been working probably three days straight, just cleaning up. We had some trees fall down and we had to clean up those. So just a lot of yard work. And the best part of it is, it's gonna be all become usable land for us. So we can get the animals back in there and hopefully we'll get some trails going through here. We're close to our farm tour starting. so. That has been awesome to get that work done. So thank you to all my family. I'm sure they're watching. Uh, thank you guys who enjoyed having you down and we appreciate all the work. Let's go check out what else has been going on. All right guys, here is the boar that was missing from the pen back there with the boys. And Jamie and I cleared out a nice spot in here for their shade as well and this is Ryder and we have put Ryder in with Chloe for hopefully a early fall litter we have not seen them breed yet but we're kind of excited Ryder's quickly turning into a good looking boar we like that big old nose on him and uh, we're excited to see what they produce let's see if Chloe turns around here there she is hey Chloe so they were introducing themselves yesterday, but we did not see a breeding take place. But this is some of the other things we have had going on. Um, it didn't take us too long to clear this out, but we're excited about this area. It's a nice shady spot, obviously, and that's what we're looking for here in the heat of the summer. So we've got Chloe and we've got Ryder, hopefully for a early fall litter. So. Pretty excited about them. He's a nice long boar, getting really big. How old? Is he just over a year? Just over a year. He's just over a year, so he's nowhere near his full size yet, but he is 
gotten big fast for us so we're excited about that so we'll keep our eye on these guys see if if and when a breeding takes place and uh we'll have more piggies but right now the farrowing barn is full like i said earlier we missed two litters videoing those but we're gonna head over to the farrowing barn and show you the new arrivals all right guys we're here at the farrowing barn i'm sure this is what you want to see uh, we've had the two litters we did not catch them on film i was at bowling league one night when they started having them and then one of the other litters was during the night we knew she was going to have them and she had them on her own and she was good but before we show you the pigs we've got something going on in the brooder so we'll show you what we've got in here and it is warm but we've got some ducks i put a bunch of duck eggs in the brooder and they have hatched out we've got 30 i think there's 32 of them in here i can't remember all the numbers i know it's in the 30s though we got khaki campbells and the silver apple yards and we've got eight more hatched out in the incubator right now and uh, there's some other eggs that are pipping and still zipping and coming out of the eggs so love 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 this outside brooder um, i've got more meat birds coming from valley farms this week and we'll put them over here and they'll be able to get out uh, we've got some of these ducks sold already so i'm hoping they're not going to be here that long but they are super cute so we've got the apple yards and we've got the khaki campbells so definitely wanted to update you on that the hatch has gone really well and we we've had some bad hatches so we're excited to get some a good hatch so let me shut this up but the first litter well let's do the first one i won't show you this one the first one that we had and missed here is jelly bean and uh she ended up with four boys and two girls and you guys know if you've been following along we've had a ton of girls i'm gonna try and go in here and see what we can get a little better view of these these little piggies there's one right by the door but four boys so we're finally getting some boys um i'll tell you those totals here in just a minute Let's shut this latch so our piggies don't get out but they have been coming in and out already hey jelly bean you don't have to get up for us but I was at bowling league when we had this one and Jamie came out to check on them and she was already having piggies. So we did not get any of this litter on video, but we are excited. Obviously you've seen all our videos. We're excited about all the pigs. I wanted to show you this one particular pig and she has easily become one of our favorites. And she is so tiny compared to the other pigs. Every time we come in here and we look at her, we think, oh my gosh, is she dead? She was so small when she came out and she is so small <laughs> and so sleepy. I promise you, she's not dead. She just went over and ate. We're thinking about, this is a female, thinking about calling her itty bit. So tiny. <laughs> Whenever you pick her up, I know she looks dead, right? She is not dead, I promise you, she's not dead. She is a hard sleeper and uh, just so cute. So she'll probably be staying here on the farm unless someone's looking for a little pet, but she will not be registered. She's just so small, but she fights for her, her milk and she eats well and she's doing very well, but this is itty bit. My gosh, she is I know if you're there she is now you at least see her eye open so you know i'm not lying to you that she is she is alive i promise but she's been doing good we were worried about her since she was so small but uh she's doing great i'm gonna i'll actually put her next to this pig so you can kind of get an idea how small she is she uh likes being over there by herself but there she is that is her brother i believe that ginger's a boy so that's itty bit she may be a uh, farm mascot. We're not sure. 
what to do with her yet, but we're just happy she made it. We didn't think she was going to. So that was Jelly Bean's litter. She had six, four boys, two girls. And uh, I'll just walk over here to Willow. She is the other pig we missed. We knew she was, it was her due date. She had milk and it was getting super late. So we just went in, we came out in the morning and she had had all her piglets. Everybody was good. And that's the good thing. I opened the door and there is a pile of pigs right here by the door. Let me get in here. And this is Willow guys. And Jelly Bean and Willow are both first time mamas and did very, very well. It is warm out. That's why you can hear we've got fans in some of the pens. Hey, Willow. As I was saying, Willow and Jelly Bean are both first time mamas. She had seven and she had five girls and two boys. So very nice, very nice litter. She was in with Walter and Jelly Bean was in with Chubbs. So everyone's kind of sacked out. They had just eaten before I came out earlier <laughs> to do the video. So there we, they've got full bellies. Well, maybe these ones don't think they're quite full yet. And everyone's kind of napping. So totals right now, we've had five litters on the ground. We've got 30 two pigs and 11 boars and 21 gilts so the best thing is everybody's been healthy even that tiny one 80 bit she's healthy we've only lost one and i told you about that in a later video um millie's millie's litter we thought she was done and she had one more and it was born dead so this is millie's she had the first litter you can see they're getting nice and big we've got the fan going there for millie we've got some other fans too but we do have a nice breeze out today but i wanted to show you these two litters because we missed them on video we had willow and we have jelly bean and you'll probably be seeing a lot of little miss itty bit right there so we've called her peanut itty bit we're not really sure about a name but she is so small but we're just glad she's she's doing well so far so those are two litters we missed um the only other thing we have we moved we should have videoed this yesterday it was late and we moved zelly over here zelly will be a second time mama um she's got about two or three days left she walked right over you've seen on some other videos we had a hard time getting them in the door she walked right in checked out her area she had eight females and one boar her last litter and they were all very nice pigs so she is doing a couple days we'll try to get that one on video for you um i hope you guys enjoy those we enjoy sharing them with you and uh make sure if you haven't already you hit that subscribe button check us out on instagram and facebook for many pictures of the pigs that we'll be posting and don't forget guys make the change we'll see you on the next video